and smiles everyone and welcome it's Colleen so today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you been a long long time since I've been at a Dollar Tree I found a few good things but um, not as much as I was hoping for but I had two special gift guests with me on this trip and so they each of them are going to show you what they got the most favorite thing they got on the trip so the first one is Hannah so she's going to show you what was her favorite thing she got from the Dollar Tree okay so this is um, my sword and shield so this is the sword and this is the shield um the sword might I'm just gonna show it and then shield right here. And why was that your favorite? Because I really I'm really interested with swords and shields and I really like them. So that's why it's my favorite. Yeah. And I have to say it is a really nice sword and shield. Um, it's it's a hard plastic, so I think she's gonna get many, many hours of fun playing time. Thank you, Hannah. So now we have Olivia. She's going to show you her favorite thing that she got from the Dollar Tree. Here we go, Olivia. Hi, I'm Olivia, and my favorite thing was these um, flower wall stickers. So this is a pink one, this is a purple one, and then they have a back side. So on this side, it doesn't have the... It doesn't have the what? The, this flower that oh that's like a bud the buds whatever that's called and then it's purple on this side but for this guy on the back is pink with little oh purple. isn't that pretty so what Flowers. are you gonna do with those are you they're wall stickers so i'm gonna put them on my wall in your room in my room oh wall. that's gonna make your room look so pretty i have so many wall stickers in my room yeah well that's okay because they're easily removable in when you want yeah. to right yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Olivia. So I'm going to just pause for one second, and I'm going to get the rest of the Dollar Tree and show you what I got. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back, everybody. So I'm going to show you the rest of what we got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the girls got a few more things, so we'll start with some of those. So um, this cross-stitch set... Um, we have opened it since we got it, but it was packaged and it had this M on top. So anyways, my one granddaughter had seen me cross stitching and she wanted me to teach her to cross stitch. So I thought this was the perfect little kit to do that. And so she's going to do her initial, which is her first name uh, is an O because her name's Olivia. So in this set, everything came with it. Um, it was supposed to have a plastic needle is the only thing that I see. For some reason, there was no plastic needle in this particular set that we picked up, but perhaps they accidentally didn't put it in. And that's okay, because I have needles around here. But uh, if you weren't, didn't, you want to have everything in it. So it does, it is supposed to come with the plastic needle. So this, this, um, this is the patterns and you get all these letters, the patterns for these letters here from N to Z. And there was another kit there that was A to L, but like I mentioned, her initial that she wanted to do was the O. So you get all the patterns for the different letters so she'll always have that she can do another letter if she wants and then you get this here little hoop which it is actually all connected together so that's great this is more like a plastic canvas which is perfect for someone that's just learning and especially a child because it won't move on them at all so that's great that they put that in there. And then this is all the colors of floss that come with it. And I think she, I'm hoping that she quite enjoys doing this. 
So we got that so she can become a cross stitcher and if she really likes it we will of course go from there and get her some different kits. And then uh, the other granddaughter she got these two different kinds of stickers of butterflies that she really liked and she also got uh, a blue poster board and she had in mind a scene she wants to do with these butterfly stickers and these are like a 3d kind of sticker and they're quite nice and then she got these ones these aren't my style but that doesn't matter because it's for her and then she also picked up a wall art too but hers is uh, uh, a tropical type of scene with parrots on it and it's not two sided but these are really great because they can put them on their walls and they come off easily and they don't hurt the walls and they they fall in love with one thing and then they fall in love with another of course because they're kids and this way they can change them out and no harm no fall and it was only a dollar fifty right so that's great and then my other granddaughter who is 10 going on 11 she has started to want to do some fake nails so she's seen these nails so she really wanted them so we got her some glue for them and then these are the different sets you get 12 pieces and this one is like a pale pink with purple and gold highlights I thought that was really pretty and then, uh, oh, she also got these Peeps ones that are kind of cute, hey? And there's, but there's only 10 here. But really, you only need 10. So she got those. And then these she got, which are very pretty. I would wear those for sure if I wore nails. I don't uh, do things with my nails because my hands, I'm in and out of all kinds of things. So it just does not work well for me. And so, oh, the nail glue comes with this one and this one. So this brand, Sass and Jess Salon Collection, it comes with, with glue right inside. That's awesome to find out. Anyways, this teal color is her favorite color. So she was excited to find those. Then she found these, and these are a little bit more glittery and bright, and that's kind of cool. And you get 12 pieces in all of these. This one says right on it, there's no glue included. And then this one is uh, the white, and it has the hearts. And when you used to do nails where you just did the top of your nail, I think it was called a French manicure. So what that's what these remind me of. So she got those to wear, and... Uh, you know they're only dollar fifty a piece, so no big deal there. And then they got some of these these squishy pals. These are glow in the dark ones, and they stretch and they can squeeze them. They're like a fidget toy, and they absolutely just love these. So you know you can't go wrong with those, except for they lose them, right? So you got to replace them. But they are a nice little toy. For them when they have fidgety moments so they're glow in the dark ones which will be really cool for them that's why they got them and then the other granddaughter got this dinosaur it stands up on its own and she has some plans of how she wants to decorate it and uh, she is very creative so it's uh, kind of cool to see what her mind comes up with when she does stuff. She also got this flower, which is a really good size flower. And you could do so many different things with this, right? You could paint it, you could cover it with napkin, you could use uh, your Cricut and put a say, paint it, put a saying on it. You could just do wherever your imagination takes you, you could do. And it's a good solid piece of wood. So she got that. And then my other granddaughter, she got these, and these are uh, window decorations, so they stick to your window. And they are for Christmas. I really like this set because it's like, let, let it snow. I like the blue. So that is a really pretty set. 
And then she got this one with the snowman. And oh my goodness, he is so cute and so thick. I think he's going to look so cute on the window. So we'll either decorate Grandma's window or if her mom lets her take him home, she can decorate windows at home. Their mom did say they have a limit of what they can bring home because they tend to over shop with Grandma. So we got to respect that. So what they can't take home, they can stay at Grandma's for when they come here. Um, they don't come a lot, but when they do, it's usually a week at a time. Okay, and then they got these stickers that are very cute. Aren't those cute? So they had requested when they came this time, they wanted to do a make a little journal for themselves. So what I did is just those mini uh, notebooks uh, they chose one of those which I already had here and they uh, are going to make their own little journals out of it so they put all kinds of stuff in their journal that they like so they wanted to use these in their journal so we got those and we also got these these are so cute 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 these are paper clips and uh, tropical but aren't they cute and uh they can use those in their journals too. And if they don't end up using them all, I'm sure somewhere along the line, I will find a journal that one of these might fit into. So we got those. And then uh, my granddaughter got this fan, which is beautiful pattern on it. Look at that pattern. Just gorgeous. Like you could hang that on your wall quite easily and it's made strong with plastic but uh she wanted it to keep it grandma's so when she's here and it's hot she can use it for an actual fan so she got that okay i think that might be all that the grandbabies got so i found a few things but not as much as i was hoping to find there was things that i had seen on different videos but my, unfortunately, my Dollar Trees didn't have that stuff. But they had some things that I hadn't seen before either. So, to start with, I didn't get lots and lots of crafty stuff this time. Because there wasn't a lot of different things that I didn't already have. So, I'm going to start with these. I got, uh, I got some new pot holders. And uh, my other ones were just, you know, getting kind of yucky and I'd washed them enough that they were fading. So I decided might as well replace them for $1.50. And I love these ones because they say love is a four-legged word. And with having my Keisha and our Zaki, I thought they were perfect for us because we do love our pets. And uh, they are navy on the back, and I do like navy. Yeah, I tend to like navy in in pot holders and pot and gloves for the the kitchen for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I, it attracts me that color. And then again, um, I needed some more hand towels because over time they just need to be replaced, right? So I found these really pretty ones. And I love the mint color, and that'll work in my bathroom. I'm not as particular about colors in bathrooms as other rooms. So this, and plus I like to mix and match. It's who I am. So this says, so fresh and so clean. And I just thought that they, that was such a pretty design. I love the font. So I got two of those. And then I found these face cloths. And... Uh, always needing face cloths so I got these two and they say you are the bubbles to my bath isn't that cute and such pretty colors so I got those let's see did I get I think I got some yeah I did I got some toothpaste because when I go I always tend to pick up a couple of toothpaste so I keep them in my bathroom so we never run out of toothpaste and I always have some and and if we have a guest they forgot their toothpaste or toothbrushes I always keep tooth extra toothpaste and extra brushes because uh, 
these I mean these you get four so they're not the best quality but they're good enough for a guest who comes and they did just need something for a short time till they get home and, and get their good brushes and sometimes I just give them a whole box of, of uh, toothpaste and they can take it home with them also we use it of course the toothpaste so I got those and I just find that it's a decent deal there for those types of things and then I got another of these diffusers this one is tranquil and I again I like to have this on hand for those times when you need a gift and uh, you don't get a lot of notice and you can't get to the store or whatever then you always have something on hand and you know just a small gift of course these things are just small gifts but they're nice to have or you, you can add them to a gift that you already got and you want to add a little something extra so these I always try and keep some of these on hand because they're always nice to add to a gift or make make a whole bunch of them for a gift themselves so this is a is a mask and to be honest it was the color the pink of it Pons is a good pretty good brand too I think and so it was though it was this shiny pink that I really liked the color of so I got that and then this was a new kind that I hadn't seen before and it's a miracle boost sheet mask and it actually is a one step two step it comes with this syringe and it's a booster but I'm not sure exactly what it all does I'll have to read the directions on the back but I thought that was quite interestingly different and it says helps firm smooth and reduce signs of aging so I might try this one myself before I start giving them for gifts to see what they're like and then I got these two here and these two here are for your hands and those are always nice to have a mask for hands or feet and and not just the face and um, Unfortunately, I could not find any f uh, feet masks this trip. So I got the two hand ones and then the two for your face. I got. And then, did I get anything else for the house? Well, I might. Oh, I did. Here's one more thing. I got this uh, fragrant oil. And this one was co coconut lime. And I do love the smell of coconut. So I thought this could be very interesting. Okay, because I hadn't seen them in the box like this before. So this is a little bit different jar than what I've bought before from there. So I'm just gonna smell this. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That is a really nice, fresh, very fresh smelling. So that'll be awesome because I tend to have potpourri in my bathrooms and lots of times I will just pop on the potpourri when it starts to fade. I will add some fragrant oil to it and that seems to work really not really well in there. Okay, and then I think most of everything else I think is craft related. Like I said, I didn't get a whole bunch, but I got some. So I seen this sketchbook. I hadn't seen a sketchbook in there before. And it's 10 by eight and it has 30 sheets. And this is what the sheets look like. And I thought they were uh, not too bad. And they were, you know, they're quite smooth, but they are a different feel to them than some of the papers that I use in my journals. So I thought I would get this and maybe I'll tea dye or coffee dye some of these. But yeah, I'm gonna use them in my journal. They're a little thinner, more like a copy paper, but that's fine. And then of course you could sketch on it because that's what they're for, but I'm not much of a sketcher. But if someone comes to my house that likes to sketch, I'll have something for them. And then I found these bottles. And I think I might have found a set before I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look yes I did but I wanted more than just a couple so these are eyedropper bottles and they're glass 
right? And they're really nice. Like to get two for a dollar fifty is pretty awesome. And what I'm going to use these for, and I will certainly do a video for it, is I want to make some uh, alcohol inks. And I thought these these uh, bottles would be perfect for that, you know, because we drop our alcohol on and let it spread and do its thing. And uh, also, I want to mention that I usually get I get poster board, the white poster board at the uh, Dollar Tree and it has signed a, kind of a coating on it and uh, I know there's another paper that is, starts with a Y the name I think, but anyways it is for alcohol ink techniques and uh, it's quite expensive and you just get small sheets of them and I found that this poster board almost works exactly the same as that paper and both the papers are coated so I think it's because of the coating so uh, that was just a tip if you wanted to try some alcohol ink techniques but didn't want to use that more expensive paper try some poster paper first and see what you think Okay, and then I got these, and they're so cute, and I ended up getting six of them, I think, but they are for photos and such. They have the stand, right? But aren't those just so cute? So with something like this, I thought I can make all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be just for photos although putting a photo on there and using just a little bit of re of tape on here and then you could take it off and it isn't going to damage it at all and replace it with another one but you could also paint this right and if you even wanted to you could take the stand off so that you could hang it or whatever but imagine uh you know uh painting this if you want or leaving it just the way it is and putting some kind of a saying on here with vinyl, like with your Cricut. That's what I was thinking to do with these. And wouldn't those make the cutest little gifts? But anyways, that's what I thought of. And I really like the white and with the black. I don't think I would change that at all, but maybe. I will, because I got six of them. But for a dollar fifty, I thought they're... You know, I could get the uh, wood from the Dollar Tree and perhaps make these, but it would save time this way, and I'm not going to make it any cheaper. So I got those because I had lots of ideas hit my head about what I could do with those. And then this was a rub-on, and I just liked it. And I have another uh, wood shape that I'm going to put this on. I have an idea for somebody in my life and I want to make them something and this would be perfect. So I got that. And then another wood piece I got and I thought was just gorgeous. Look at that sign. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, it says bloom where you are planted. And you could just leave it this way if you wanted a very subtle look. I'm going to paint it and maybe be buffed in gold or something like that. And I just thought it was gorgeous and it could make such a lovely gift. And it's something that could be hung in a house or it could be hung in your garden, you know. And then even if you didn't want to use this, you can always turn it over and do your own thing on the back. But I got it because I loved the words, the saying on it. And I love the font, the way they did the font. I think is very nice. So that's what I got that for. And then I got some more water brushes. Because I had gotten a set to see what they were like. And I liked them. So I got another set. So they're about a medium sized one I'd call it. But very fine tip on the end and uh, they're great and it's always nice to have a few of these and they were only $1.50 for two because when you're working on something instead of having to squeeze it and get all the paint out and use another color if you have a few of them you can just keep going and then wash them all out at the end okay so I got that 
Then I found this, and I had never seen this in my Dollar Tree before. And it is a scoring tool, and I'm assuming it's, uh, well, I'm not assuming anything, actually. I just thought I'd open it here on camera and see what we got here. I do have another scoring tool that I use that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree, and it was a little bit there. It's just a plain uh, one that's white with some pink on it, and it has a different ball at each side. But I thought I'd get this because I hadn't seen this before. And so it just has the ball on the end. And I like the balls with my my uh, Martha Stewart. I think it works better than a bone folder. I find with a bone folder, maybe it's my clumsy hands, but I find that I can end up uh, um, tearing the paper more than using a ball. So I got this to give it a try. I liked the thought of these two little indents to put your fingers in. So hopefully I'll like that as much as I did the, like I still like the other one, but I just like the looks of that and the design. And of course only being $1.50, I thought I'd give it a shot. Okay, and then I only found one sticker. Uh, they had quite a few stickers, but not my style so much. And uh, there was a couple that were my style, but I already had them, but I had seen these. And these are puffy stickers, they're calling them, so they have a little bit of dementia to them. But I thought these would work really well in some of the things that I do, like something like that. You could put, you know, you could watercolor, like do flowers in the background and put that in front so the flowers are coming out or leaves, whatever. But I thought they were interesting for an add-on to something. So I got those. And then I got, oh, I got another last wood one, but I've seen these. And it's an elephant, a cat, and a dog. And I generally probably wouldn't have bought something like this, but it's the color. The way they painted these got me. Like, I really liked the distressing and the coloring on this. And I have a certain uh, paper that I had gotten that has cats kind of worked into... The designs on the paper there's one with a cat on it and I thought this cat would be go really good with that paper so if I if and when I shouldn't say if when I make a journal and use those papers I'm gonna use one of these cats somehow in that journal too so I got those and then I found this I'd already opened it but um, I had never seen a resin molds there before and they had this one and this one is a jewelry mold as you can see on the top here and I used to make a lot of jewelry I used to design one-of-a-kind jewelry and uh, I used to sell it um, but I don't tend to do that as much anymore because I love doing my journals so my time is spent there more than doing uh, ju or jewelry anymore although I love making jewelry too it's just my interest to shift a little bit but I like really like this mold because it has the heart and then it has the rectangle which you know you can use as a pendant both of those these you could use as small pendants or you could uh, cast a couple of them and make earrings out of them. So I do have some resin that hopefully is still good. I haven't used it in a long time. But as you know, it's not always that cheap resin. So I'm going to try to make some things with this. With that resin is what I thought. And I think I could make some really gorgeous things with this mold for sure. So that's why I got that, and I had watched a video, and I think it was My Crazy Life is her channel, and she had shown a Dollar Tree, and she had gotten little bottles of resin from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't see anything like that at my Dollar Tree. So keep an uh, lookout, eye out for the resin, because 
obviously uh, if you're a Dollar Tree shopper you know things come in and out and at, at different stores and you're never quite sure what will be at your store so but if you're patient most of the time you can find what you're looking for so that was a new item I'd never seen before and this is the last item and it was new for me I had not seen before and they were these mats and they're standard grip they're called and uh, so they like to use on your Cricut and such and they are well, good and sticky I think my personal opinion the only difference I find is they're quite a bit thinner than uh, what your standard Cricut mats are but that's okay you would just have to adjust the depth of your cutting tool on your Cricut if you want to use them on there because there's no reason you couldn't I don't think but I actually got them for my Misty my stamping tool I like to I what I done is I had taken an old mat and I cut it to fit inside it because I get frustrated using the magnets sometimes because sometimes you want to do a piece of the paper that might be at the very edge or something and you can't, you can't the magnet just interferes when you're trying to do something for and so this you stick your paper on it and holds your paper and you don't need to be using the magnets so that's why I like this so much so I got two of them because they were only a dollar fifty and I thought well I'll give them a try and I'll get an extra one because I don't get to the Dollar Tree all that often and if I really like them next time I go I'll get a couple more for sure just to have on hand so I don't have to worry about finding them again anyway that is my Dollar Tree haul today and uh, I want you all to have a lovely lovely day don't forget to like and subscribe it will help my channel grow and press that notification bell at the bottom of the video and it'll let you know when I'm putting out a new video and I want you all to have a crafty crafty day and we will see and talk to you soon. Bye for now.